Hello everybody, Charles here, aka Trevor Master, and welcome to the Challenge GP in Orlando. Now, this one is a little bit different, sorry that it's been so long since I've actually done one of these, and it's normally because I normally would be on top of these things, I normally would release one every month, but I kinda got, I'll be honest, I kinda got a little lazy here, and I recorded the last two months, I did record it, but I never actually got ahead in editing and putting the footage in, so what I decided to do is put all three races that happened within the two months all into one video to round out the entire year. And with that in mind, we actually went ahead and got into this one. So, currently in the championship, I am 11 points ahead after the October race since I won the race, my first one of the season, and I was very happy about that. Like, yes, granted, I felt, I didn't, it was a good thing we got ahead then and, you know, pulled ahead of, of Robert Bird because he just, his cars never ended up doing it. But, Nonetheless, we are now 11 points ahead in the championship to David Dupree, and we just now, the championship is on is one hand on you know, within our grasp, and we just gotta hold on. It's very hard to pull into the 11 point gap within three races, unless like something major happens for me, say like if I finish last or something like that. But nonetheless, uh, let's get on to the race. <laughs>
Alright, well, so everything after that, everything that's happened in this race, everything's looking pretty good for me. Everything's moving nice and good. I mean, yeah, you had Nick uh, make a bit, a bit of a ambitious move on me, but I guess that's what it is. It, yeah, I wasn't really the end of the world for me. At least I had only lost one position to him, and I uh, kind of just stayed ahead of Chris in the end for that. So it's all right. Only really lost out on three points to pre in this race, which is not too bad, because um, that means the temperature cap is now eight points. Which even then, that's still kind of, that makes the gap a little smaller than I would like for the last two races of the championship. Because that would mean if he gets two four points to play finishes, he could possibly win. But I obviously can't more than that. But you know, looking back in the post race, I'm not upset about it i'm just kind of what it is we can just kind of move on to the next month and have a good one right in this next one we can come go into the race with uh eight point lead we're starting back here p6 it was yeah p6 and yeah the, the, the start of the race all you guys can see right here i'm getting pushed around a little bit in the back you can feel it and then when we all, i get pushed even harder and then just i pretty much fall to the back of the pack and I'll basically just let the footage here pretty much do the rest of the talking, I'm gonna be honest, because this was something else that I, I just can't find. I'll, I'll let you guys uh, just see the most of the rough footage like I did before. I'll see you guys.
the right here, I'm actually going to go ahead and cut the footage to the end of the race pretty much, because after this point, basically nothing happened. I was just running my race and running my own last. But I didn't realize this at the time. It, I would look up at the board, and um, I basically got a P3, and you can see I felt in the commentary that I was so happy. And I'll be back with you guys in the next one for the finale, because now we are six points ahead in the championship, and it's looking very interesting. Wait. Where am I? Wait, you free? What? Was that third? Wait. Where was I? Oh my gosh. If that's a champion, not a champion drive, I don't know what is. Did I send it or did I not send it, boys? Ah, send it! Send it! Right here, so we have the finale, the final race of the season. Now, this one was actually very interesting because going into this, no, no one got within a tenth of my lap time, and a tenth around this track was huge. Because there was there was Steven who had the exact same parts as me within qualifying, but he was always two tenths away from my lap time. It was interesting. It was just one of those nights where I just had everything hooked up, and you know, I, I just found the extra tenth where nobody could. And unfortunately, in this race, uh, that didn't quite seem like the case. Because you see here, I'm getting hit in the back. But under qualifying load, I was doing very great. But yeah, in this scenario, this is, of course, the championship race is a bad time to get it. It's when I get a cart that just got stuck on speed free. Because like, it used to, like, instantly in the first, like, like, 90% of the lap, I was, well, like, fast pace, had to pass, like, pulling away from everybody. And suddenly when I found a corner, it's just slow. And I'm pointing here to get, turn the gas, turn the cart to speed up. Well, because it felt like it was just stuck on speed three, and I had no work, like, no hope in that. So I was like, I was obviously just trying to fight for my life just to keep the position, because I'm like, if I lose it here, I don't want to lose the championship, because I felt I was just afraid if I was going to be last, I would lose the championship, so I'm defending for my life here. But yeah, I'm going to let the rest of the footage here do the, uh, just pretty much speak for itself, and I'll see you guys in a bit.
unfortunately for me, this race was not exactly the one that I was hoping for, but it did me just enough to win the championship for the for the 2020 season. Yes, like you obviously you can see the cart was not very good, but I did just enough to just stay behind the re because overall this summer race was never really about winning the race, but when I knew I had pole by like over a tenth on everybody, I was like, maybe I have a shot to win like, you know, to look like yes, I should win the championship by just like winning the race out entirely. Like that was in my instinct, I would I would love to have done that. But unfortunately the cart was just not up to the task. But I did just enough, just finishing right behind your free so, so basically we finished with the same amount of points since I got the point for the fastest lap. Overall, I would have liked a better race, but hey, I won, I won the championship nonetheless. Very happy about the result, and I am very happy with everything that's happened this season. And I hope you guys did enjoy as well, as this will be the final one around this uh, facility, unfortunately, because their GoPros lost the sponsorship, and we're going to have to uh, not all be allowed to use the GoPros on track anymore because it's important. So, there you go. So, unfortunately, this series is going to come to an end with this facility, but hopefully I can bring you to another place soon. Hope you guys did enjoy. Feel free to leave a like if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time. If you want to subscribe to future videos, feel free to do that as well. And I'll see you guys 